Hello, my name is Robert French. I'm a 3D printing applications engineer with Go Engineer, and today we're going to be talking about support settings inside of GrabCAD Print for FDM prints. We can access support settings by clicking on the icon on the right hand side of the screen. When we do, we see our list of options starting with support style. We have five different styles, including smart, sparse, basic, surround, and box. Let's take a moment and look at the slice preview for each of these support styles. With smart, we notice a tapering in of each of our support structures. This is going to minimize the amount of support material we use and not be quite as strong as some of our other support styles, but it will work just fine for a majority of prints. Sparse will give us a little bit more strength. We have a wide raster pattern, but because we don't have tapering, we are using a little bit more support material, but works better for tall models. With basic, we have very similar to sparse, but much more dense raster pattern. So very similar, great for tall models, using a lot more support material, but really getting that firm lockdown of our print. Next we have surround, and this is going very, very far to really secure the part at all heights, at all locations, really good for tall, thin walls, like on housings and things like that. Lastly, we have box. This is a minimum use of support material, pretty good for tall models. Key idea here is we don't have a raster uh, going around the outside, no contour around the outside, and still a good choice for minimizing support material on tall models. The next option in the Support Settings tab is Use Model Material. This will use our model material as a support structure, and we can see that in this slice preview. It's a very sparse toolpath, not using a lot of model material, and wherever we contact our part, we're still going to have a few layers of support material. This can make breaking away the support structures pretty easy and give a little bit more rigidity to the print. We can also turn on this next option, High Density Infill, when using model material as a support structure. And all we notice is that the raster, where we're creating these material support structures, is a little bit more dense, bringing even more rigidity to our print. The next option here is Grow Supports. This is actually going to take our support structures and taper them outward, giving them a wider base, which will provide more rigidity and stability to our print. If we look at the slice previews, with the setting turned off, we have normal straight-walled support structures. But now with the setting turned on, we see a tapering of our support structures. This in some cases, like for instance the holes halfway up the part, not going to rely on the only support structure being that internal to the hole. We're actually now linking these holes to the build tray, giving us an overall more rigid, more stable part. Our next option is self-supporting angle. This is a very popular option because it can reduce the amount of support material you use for a print and reduce the print time quite significantly. We're going to set a threshold value here, anywhere from 30 to 70 degrees, and when we have faces that fall beneath this value, they will be supported or not. So when I set the value very low, 30 degrees, and we look at the slice preview, we're letting pretty pretty steep faces go unsupported and reduce our print time, reduce support material use. But when we push this threshold up to 70 degrees, we now see a lot more faces fall under that threshold. We're using a lot more support material, but we're holding our part more firm, more rigid, and potentially getting better quality. Our last option here is base style, and we have model and supports and model only. If we look at the model only slice preview, we notice we're only seeing a support structure where we have model contact with the tray. But when we switch over to model and supports, we will fill in any closed contour space with a full bed of support material. This might provide a little bit more rigidity, a little bit more structure, and could potentially make removing that support material in one clean swoop, just by prying it off, much easier, especially on parts with lots of holes and lots of closed contours contacting the bed. That's it for this video on support settings in GrabCAD Print. I have several other videos that go over various other settings for FDM. Be sure to check those out, and thanks for watching.